Hi everyone, my name is Prabhanjan. I'm a senior curriculum instructor here at Masai. I teach MongoDB and Node.js and other backend parts in Masai. And today we are gonna talk about what is Python and why it is so popular. So Python is a programming language. You must have heard about the name multiple times. You must have seen the uh, introductory videos and all. We are gonna look at it, what exactly makes it a language that anyone can get started with, even without having any programming language background. The story of Python actually starts from 1989 where the creator of Python, whose name is Goido Van Rassum, he wanted to actually create an operating system. Uh, the operating system name was Amoeba OS, but uh, it's not in being used or not even in development anymore. He wanted a programming language that can actually talk with that operating system, right? Any, every pro operating system needs a programming language that uh, understands that language. So for Amoeba OS, for, for his op uh, operating system, he wanted to create another programming language because at that time in 1989, they did not have many programming languages like we do have today, right? We have JavaScript, C, C++. At that time, they did not have many languages. And you know the problem with C and C++ is even though they present, they were there at that time, they are not easy to learn. So what he wanted is a language that is very, very clean and easy to write and easy to adopt while being able to talk with the operating system while operating system understands that language. So what he did was he created a new language that is very, very clean, that is very easy to adopt and very easy to learn easily. And he named it Python. That is exactly the Python that we use every day. The name comes from actually a TV series called as Monty Python. It's not a reference to actual snake. So it's a, it was a comedy series, but he was, he, he was fan of it. And then he created the Python. So what's, what exactly makes it a popular? The language that the Python is, it's very easy to learn, uh, unlike other languages. So if you are familiar with any other languages, you know how the languages uh, are revolve, they revolve around something called a syntax, right? Uh, there are lots of operators like exclamation mark, tilde, there is uh, equal to, equal to, there is not equal to. Python is not like that. Python tries to make it very simple by introducing the English word for it. So if you want to write something is not equal to, you will just write A not equal to B. It's as simple as that. Obviously, there are operators, but Python makes it even more simpler for those who even don't understand English as well. For other languages, you might need to know what you know, English programming language, English, not programming, English natural language a little bit. Python does not require it as much as other languages. And because of that, Python became quickly a really, really popular language. Uh, so basically, Python is being used everywhere from backends to writing APIs to writing image processing, data processing, and uh, even the most comp the most popular uh, sector that you must have heard about is the AI, ML, and DL, right? The deep learning and machine learning uh, sectors. The reason why Python is much more popular there is the in the data science sector, the scientists want to concentrate more on writing logic itself than actually making compiler happy, right? Other programming languages are not like that. Python tries to simplify the process of writing the code, while other programming languages try to make the code faster. Python is exactly opposite. So you have two options. You write the code fast and uh, run it slowly, and you write the code slowly, but run it really, really fast. Python is on the first side. You, you, it's gonna help you write code a lot faster. It's gonna help, uh, it's gonna help you a lot while you're writing the code. It may run a little bit slower. That does not make it the slowest language, right? You still can. Python gives you a lot of options to actually interact with other languages. So what you can do is something that is uh, something that is actually slower in your language. You can just write it in another language like C, C++ and import that code into your language so that your code is not only written faster, but also executed faster as well. So that's a really basic introduction of Python. Uh, you can get started with it today itself. It's actually very easy. There are lots of the ecosystem of Python is very large. You must have heard about Flask. You must you must have heard about Django framework that is being widely used for web development and front end as, as well. But that's not it. Uh, you there are a lot of uh, libraries for even for animation, image processing, data processing, and all. Uh, but that's just introductory part of it. Uh, and thank you for joining, and I'll see you guys next time.